Hi everyone, it's Natasha. I decided to make chocolate chip cookies and I have the authentic Nestle Toll House recipe up on my Kindle. I have some of my prep already done. My sheets, cookie sheets are ready to go. Oven preheated 375. Two sticks of butter, three quarter cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar and three quarter cup of granulated sugar. Um, in this bowl I have <clears throat> two and a quarter cups of AP flour. I have two eggies, then I have a teaspoon of clear vanilla, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to add the salt and the baking powder to the flour and mix that. In the meantime, I'm going to mix the uh, butter and sugar. Cream sugar, I'm going to add one at a egg at a time. Just going to turn it up a little bit. Add the vanilla. I'm going to turn it off to scrape down the sides. That's creamed nicely and the eggs are incorporated. Um, I added the salt and baking powder to the flour. I'm going to turn it on low and add a little bit. And then last was is a two cups of chocolate chips. And then we can scoop them out and bake them. Add the chocolate chips now to incorporate. <laughs> like a fun science experiment. That's probably enough. I can incorporate the rest by hand. Let me take the paddle off and make sure it's all incorporated and then scoop them out onto the Silpat or Silpat like line sheets. I don't know about anybody else, but I love the smell of cookie dough even before I bake. So I just scooped it with my medium sized scoop to keep them even. That way they cook evenly. Um, you can also use parchment paper. You do not need to grease the pans when you put them in because there's uh, there's such high content butter, butter content. It's two sticks, so it's half a pound or a cup which is eight ounces right four ounces each yeah um, you can also press these out into a bunt pan kind of like this with a lip and make cookie bars and then cut them apart and then dip them in chocolate i'm just going to stick with chocolate chips today so i'm going to put the other pan together pop them in the oven at the same time i think it's nine to eleven minutes i'll double check and let you know in a minute when they come out I admit it, I am licking my fingers. <laughs> so this is a second pan, and as you can see, I have some left over. I'm not going to eat this raw, although I'm extremely tempted to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to instead roll it into um, like a butter stick in parchment paper and then put it in a Ziploc bag and put, pop it in the freezer. That way we have ad hoc cookies we could just cut off and bake in the toaster oven the same amount of time. And yeah, all the work's been done for me cookies for later. There's easily at least a, a dozen in here, so that's good. I will show you what the cookies look like when they come out of the oven in 9 to 11 minutes. Cookies are done. Um, I like them just cooked through but not really crispy and I have to show you. Cooking on a Silpat produces that perfect no burn result. They're cooked through. Uh, parchment paper also, also parchment paper also makes a great difference. 
rather than just a naked pan. So that's it. I'm going to let them come, come uh, cool off completely and then I will store them in a resealable container to enjoy the rest of the weekend. So there you go. Toll House, authentic Toll House chocolate chip cookies. Actually, these got a little bit more color because they were on the bottom um, of the oven, but even they are not um, discolored on the bottom. So just a little kiss of color. There you go. There's the. I'll put a link um, in the description to the original recipe. It's not my recipe. I did not deviate from it at all. Uh, all minutely. I did add just a bit less salt um, and there's more cookie dough in the refrigerator which I may or may not put in the freezer we'll see how quickly these get devoured as always don't forget to thumbs up it's free for you and helps me out and if you have any questions feel free to ask otherwise thank you so much for watching